Thank you for those those words of encouragement, Teresa. We're really honored by your presence here today. This is actually the first year in the eight years we've done this where we're actually able to have all of our honorees with us. Uh, we're really grateful that you made the trip in from Buffalo and that you'll be taking back to your community the hope and inspiration that our morning presenters and afternoon panelists are providing us. Our next award is the Stephen Milne Adventurous Spirit Award, and I'm gonna ask Dr. Perrin to make that introduction now. So this year we're awarding um, this award to Eric Endall, who is here. Um, uh, Eric's mother, Sheila, died from ALS. Uh, he's been fundraising for TDI since 2008. Eric's uh, incredibly passionate and incredibly creative in his fundraising. Uh, he recently had one of uh, his events, Wings Over Wall Street, here in Boston, uh, which has become a very successful uh, event for the fundraising, uh, for the investment community. He also organized the big game battle. He's participated in the tri-state trek. Um, he's an incredible networker, an incredible guy. His family is so dedicated. They're, they're truly amazing. So uh, Eric, I know you're here somewhere. Please come up and accept your award. Literally, Eric's family is here. Thank you I should get very used to uh, my daughter and wife stealing a spotlight, so I figured I'd, I'd bring him up, you know. Uh, <clears throat> but it's very reassuring being here today, uh, not uh, because I really understand the science that goes behind uh, ALS, um, which I, I certainly do not, you know. Um, but it's, um, it reassures me that we have the right people in the right places doing the right things. Um, so obviously the people that sit on this panel and many people in this, in this room here today uh, are the tip of the sword uh, when it comes to battling this disease. Um, but I think it's important to remember that, you know, everyone that's involved in the ALS community um, has a job to do, you know, and uh, from Steve Perrin down to someone who, uh, you know, does a day volunteership at uh, the Tri-State Trek. Uh, I think it's important to know that, you know, we, we all have a job to do, and I see my job as uh, trying, to, trying to push the a ALS TDI brand uh, beyond its current network, um, beyond just uh, the pharmaceutical companies and the people that are involved, and, um, uh, and, and you know, on a bigger level, and try to, uh, get ALS out there and uh, make people realize what a horrific disease it is and what a resource we have here in, in Boston uh, in ALS TDI. So um, <clears throat> I would like to thank, you know, first my family, my daughter, and my wife, Rachel, um, my family, many of which are here today, um, Team Sheila, uh, my, my poor, poor friends that I constantly hit up for money and uh, I make do these outrageous uh, uh, fundraising initiatives, but uh, most certainly my mother, Sheila Engdahl, um, whose courage and determination um, got the ball rolling for many of these uh, events. And, um, you know, ALS picked a fight with my family, but um, it was my mother who chose ALS TDI, so uh, I very humbly and very proudly accept this board on her behalf. I feel like your daughter should get an award for uh, not crying throughout that. <laughs> 